guys welcome back okay so i know i'm a little bit early but it's never too early for love okay so yeah i decided i wanted to go ahead and pull some palettes that kind of gave me that romantic feel you know it's february we heading in that direction of valentine's day so happy early valentine's day you guys <laughs> But yeah, I just wanted to kind of dig through my collection. You guys know that after my palette collection videos, I was kind of like, I am not digging through my palettes no more. I'm not looking for anything. I'm not doing any more collection type videos when it comes to my palettes because that was exhausting. But I don't know. I just kind of need something to cheer me up, kind of make me happy right now. Put a little pep in my step. As you guys know, we have a lot of things going on in the world today that can kind of bring us down, make us feel some type of way, uneasy, stuff like that. So whenever I can do something just fun and lighthearted and just to kind of put a smile on your face, I'm going to try to do that. Okay, so that's what I did today. I went ahead and went through my collection. I said, you know, should I kind of mix it up? Because people have different feelings and thoughts about Valentine's Day. <laughs> Some people hate Valentine's Day, which I can understand. Some people kind of like a more deep, grungy type Valentine's look. And some people like the traditional pinky reds, you know, throwing a little bit of purple or lavender to say Valentine. But for me, I decided today to kind of go with the basic theme of Valentine. So, like I said, I just pulled some palettes that I feel like have that theme, that feel. And it's a lot, you guys. You guys know I have a lot of palettes. So, let's just jump right in and start looking at these romantical palettes, okay? <laughs> so, this first one is actually the one that I use for my eye look today. I figured I'd get that one out the way. This one is my Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties palette. My first time using it was today, and I must say I'm very, very pleased with it. She's a little beat up, okay? This was a gift from my girl, Lily. <laughs> Y'all know my girls are always sending me stuff. But yeah, she sent me this. I pulled it from my shop, my stash, and finally decided to check it out. And I actually love it. I feel like it performed nicely, blended out nicely. I added the little pop of pink to give it that extra Valentine boost, okay? With the little pink hoops. <laughs> but yeah, so I feel like this is actually a nice kind of more purpley toned Valentine's Day type feeling palette. But you can add a little pink, add a little red, give it a little spice and, you know, you can get a really nice, sexy look with this. So this is the palette that I use today, and I absolutely love it. So next, this palette here from Juvia's Place, this is her collab with Vanessa. It's actually my newest Juvia's palette, I believe. Have not used it yet, but I have seen some absolutely gorgeous looks with this palette. Has the pinky tone in there, but it's kind of like a more grown and sexy type of pink has this orangey corally look and those two colors absolutely go beautifully together. Shimmers are beautiful. I love Juvia's formula, easy for me to work with. So I don't have any concerns about this palette, although I haven't used it yet. I do think this is a really pretty Valentine's-y option. And I don't have all my palettes like <laughs> grouped together by brand. I have some of them together by brand, but they're kind of like just in a big little container here. So I might be all over the place with brands, but just, just chill. Just hang out with me, right? Let's just look at some romantical palettes. <laughs> now, this one from Juvia's is the Berries. This one is definitely one of my favorites. Absolutely has the Valentine-y feel, Valentine-y look to it beautiful pink berry tones, shimmers, mattes. I really love this palette. Next from Juvia's, another pinky tone palette that I actually have not tried out yet. I pulled it to try and never tried it. This one is the pinks, okay? Don't get no more pinky valentine -y than this. But yeah, this palette, absolutely gorgeous. It has the, is that a glitter? I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes because they do them so fine, but it looks like they're just shimmers to me. Uh, yeah. So shimmers, mattes in here, very pink alicious. If you like pink, <laughs> this is definitely a palette for you. Okay. But it truly does say Valentine's to me. 
Now, another palette for the season is this Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk. Okay, I do have a few Ace Beauté palettes that I really, really love. This is the Scarlet Dusk, so it kind of has like the pinky red tones, but it also gives you some beautiful orange and gold tones up here to create that nice, beautiful sunset type look. So this is a really, really pretty palette, I think, for Valentine's Day as well, if you lean more towards like the red tones. Now, if you like a softer type of vibe, this palette here is from ColourPop. This is the Sweet Talk palette. I purchased this palette when it came out. It was kind of like, mm, I'm not too sure because, you know, it has the lighter shades and me being a deeper tone woman, a black woman, okay? You kind of look at these shades and you're like, mm, I don't know. But these corally type shades with these beautiful shimmers in here, absolutely gorgeous on deeper skin tones as well as lighter skin tones so if you like more of a corally type look corally type feel this is a really nice palette now this here is an absolutely gorgeous palette that i purchased from revolution this is one of their quads revolution pro palette this one is called pink topaz Let's see if i can open this these are kind of hard to open okay Ain't nobody got time to be popping off nails trying to open palettes. <laughs> but yes, look at that packaging, you guys. That just says romance to me. And then when you open her up, look at how beautiful she is, okay? Absolutely gorgeous. If you like that softer pink, it does have shimmers. I believe that one, is this a glitter? I know I said I wasn't gonna swatch nothing. Oh, this is one of those really, really gorgeous type multi- color glitters but it's very very fine as you can see so so pretty so this definitely says romance to me now this little palette here is from an indie brand called unique beauty i believe that's how you pronounce it it's like unique with an e in front this is one of the status quo palettes and i did go ahead and try them out and found that i really really like their formula they do put glitters in their palettes but they're really pretty glitters now this palette is called pop and so it is a very beautiful pink toned palette and yeah mine came a little dinged up but i was able to repress it but this pink palette is really really gorgeous i did do a video swatching all of my little unique or e unique palettes if you want to check them out and i did do a look using one one of the darker ones <laughs> So the next palette that reminds me of Valentine's Day or kind of makes me feel romantic is this Huda Beauty Nude Rich, okay? This one, is this the deep one? I'm assuming that I got the deep one. Knowing me, I got the deep one. So yeah, this is the rich one. And I feel like when I used this, it kind of gave me like a rich, deep, purpley type romantic look. So with the color scheme that's in here, it will kind of still give me like that mauve type look. Really, really nice, sexy, romantic palette. Now, this is also new to my collection from ColourPop. This is the Wine Only palette. I did use this in a look on Instagram, I believe. I didn't do a video. Did I do a video? I don't think so. But I know I did a look using this for Instagram, I believe. And it's kind of like their red burgundy tone type palette. So this is another kind of way you can go with Valentine's Day if you like more of the red burgundy rich deeper tones now this palette here i haven't used i just swatched it and when i swatched it i wasn't that impressed so i haven't used it yet but i know some people really like this it's the nabla this is one of their cutie palettes and it's the wild berry and this definitely has like that berry kind of burgundy sexy you know, type eye look that you might want to do for Valentine's Day. Very, very pretty in my opinion. So I'm just going to have to play with it, test it out, you know, see how I feel about it. I don't know why I don't like, didn't like the swatches. I really can't remember, but I'm still going to try this puppy out. Now for some palettes that are just slightly larger. This one from Pinky Rose is their Luscious Plum. 
I love the color story from this palette, you guys. It's a little bit unexpected. It's like, okay, you got some beautiful purpley tones in here giving you that plum theme. But this, you know, bright orangey, like fluorescent red corally type shade here just kind of takes it to another level. This beautiful pink over here. And then you have some nice softer, more neutrally type tones if you don't want to go ham, you know. So this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I definitely feel like it says Valentine's Day. To me, it does. <laughs> Now, this one here is one of my newer palettes. This one is from Clarity Cosmetics. It's the Berry Royal. I did do a look with this on my Instagram as well, okay? Does this not say Valentine's Day? It most certainly does, okay? It's so pretty. The pinks, the plums, just the shimmers, gorgeous. I really had a good time using this. It is reminiscent to me of the Give Me Glow uh what is it the vivid rose i believe and i haven't tried that one out yet but the color stories you know kind of give me like the same feels and vibes but i really like this one and i know i have that palette in here somewhere too i just gotta dig it out <laughs> now this palette here is a little bit different it's the nico mimi palette from lollipop cosmetics this is an indie brand that I decided to try out recently, so I did pick up this palette. I thought it was cute. And this palette here, as you can see, it's one that has like pinks and purples, but it also has a little pop of blue. If you're like me and you kind of like to add a little surprise every now and then when you're doing a pink or purple look, then this might be one that you want to try. I haven't tried it yet, so I can't talk about the quality, but I do feel like it is a very, very cute palette. It really is, and I think that this color story is just really, really nice. So, so a different type of valentines -y palette. Now, this one here is also newer to my collection from Rude Cosmetics. This is their Roaring 20s Carefree palette. I did try out their Reckless palette from the Warrant roaring 20s line absolutely love it so if this formula here is the same as the reckless then i know i'm gonna love it already but look at this color story tell me this does not say romance it definitely does it's super pretty has the shimmers in there it's very reminiscent of like the huda beauty type palettes very very pretty so yeah i actually can't wait to try this out i'll probably be trying this out this month Y'all, I didn't even realize I had so many of what I would consider valentines -y or romantical type palettes, <laughs> but I do. Now, this next one here is from Nomad. So this one is a little bit different as well. This is their Tokyo palette, and look at that. Isn't that super cute? So, so cute. And this is their pastel palette. So it has the beautiful pinks and purples in here. Maybe you like something a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. And these shimmers down here, you guys, absolutely to die for, okay? But I definitely feel like this is a palette where if you like softer looks with absolutely gorgeous shimmers on your lid, that this is a nice choice to use for Valentine's Day looks. Now this palette here, very, very new to my collection. I had heard about Becca Muse from my girl Lily. She tested out some of their palettes on her channel. Absolutely gorgeous, highly pigmented, but I never, you know, picked any up. But I saw some that I actually was really interested in, so I decided to grab a few. This is one of them. I'm sorry, I do not know the name. The names are not on the palette. <laughs> so if you don't remember it, you know, you have to look it up. But this is a beautiful pinky purple palette. You want to talk about seriously bold colors in here. Very, very bold, very beautiful and vibrant. So this is just like a typical Valentine's Day type palette. Very, very pretty. Okay, so let's say that you absolutely hate pink, but you like red. <laughs> I have a few red options here as well. This one is actually extremely affordable from Nika K. This is their Poison Apple Palette. As you can see, it kind of has that same sizing and feel as the Huda Beauty or who else does these? Uh, I don't know, but y'all know this little 
nine pan situation here. This is just, you know, a basic red palette. Very, very pretty. Definitely says Valentine's Day. And Nikka K is extremely affordable. So if you like smaller palettes and color stories like this, check out Nikka K because I haven't used this one, but from what I understand, you know, their palettes decent enough for the price. Also, we have Huda Beauty. This one is one of her gemstones or obsessions palette. This is the Ruby Obsessions. I believe I got this in a boxy charm and I did try this out and actually really, really like it. I'm not really that big on red eyeshadow. I don't feel like red looks that great on me, so I don't gravitate towards it. But this is a very nice palette. It turned out a really, really gorgeous red eye look. And I think it's really pretty. So that's what she looks like. Now, say like you don't really like a lot of color at all. You just like a, a nice, romantic, sexy, smoky eye. Um, how about the Sultry? Okay, it's called Sultry for a reason. And the packaging is absolutely beautiful. So when you're using this palette to do yourself up for Valentine's Day, whether you're loving on your man, your woman, loving on yourself, loving on your kids, okay, <laughs> you can look really, really pretty and feel beautiful using this palette. Okay, so this one here, I know you guys already know what it looks like. But this is what this one looks like. Cranks out an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, subtle or bold, smoky eye. If you do want to add that pop of coral in there, you can add that in your crease or, you know, your upper lid space and just add a little color. So this is also a very nice Valentine's Day palette. And also, of course, from ABH, got to talk about the Jackie Ina. Look at this packaging here. This definitely says bad and bougie, okay? <laughs> and the color story in here gives you your pinks, your purples. You know, you can't go too deep and smoky with this, but you do have some really gorgeous deeper shades in here to play with. Absolutely gorgeous. I like that about this palette. You can go lighter, you can go darker, kind of mix it up, do a simple every day, or you can, you know, add your color in there. So very very pretty i think this is a perfect valentine's day palette quite frankly it really is now maybe you like more of the coral type looks coral type colors i have my sigma Cor de rosa oh, this palette is so beautiful okay you do look at this brush you guys look at the brush in here just the brush alone says beautiful romantic i am special okay <laughs> so pretty but you do get your pinky tones in here but it gives me more of that kind of like soft baby doll kind of type pink feel I don't know I haven't used it yet because this palette is so gorgeous that it's kind of like oh I have to force myself to touch it but this is really gorgeous and I, I definitely feel like this is for someone who just likes that soft touch that you know that soft lovey-dovey touch Okay, so just to kind of showcase a few more reds, I do have my Delancey Flamboyance palette. Now, I haven't used this in quite a while. I got this palette a long time ago, but it definitely, <laughs> from jump, says romance to me with the reds and just kind of soft, corally type shades in here. Beautiful shimmers, has some neutral tones. I don't even know if they're still selling this, but... I love having it in my collection because I don't have a whole lot of red palettes, but if I want to do a red look, this is perfect for that. Very, very nice. Now my Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette, I think of this palette oftentimes when I think of like a beautiful romantic type color story. I really, really love the fuchsia in here. The fuchsia and it's kind of like, what is that? Like a burnt orange? Those colors together on the eyes are just so pretty. The shimmers in here are amazing. But yeah, I really, really like this palette for Valentine's Day. It's so pretty. Look at that. I know you guys have seen it a million times, but <laughs> it's so, so pretty. Now I feel like pretty much almost all of Huda Beauty's larger palettes not only look the same, but they all kind of have that red, pinky, purpley feel to them that says Valentine's or Romance. 
Um, but I did pull this Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde because for me, I love the shimmers in this palette, okay? So if you are wanting to create a really gorgeous Valentine's Day look and you want a beautiful shimmer for your lid and maybe you don't have any other type of special shimmers, this palette definitely reach for because the shimmers in here so so pretty so so gorgeous you do get you know kind of like your pinky and also like lavender type tones that go along with the theme of this palette it's not necessarily your most black brown girl friendly palette but you can get a pretty look out of this palette <laughs> okay you really can so yeah very pretty nice softer but i would say this one mainly for the shimmers in here now listen, you guys, this palette here from Alomar Cosmetics, this is the Spanglish palette, I believe. Yeah, the Spanglish. So it looks like on the outside, pretty lavender packaging. And this is the color story inside this palette, okay? Look at that. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I believe I grabbed this from the Boxy add-on or Boxy pop-up or something. Extremely discounted and i was like why is this palette discounted already because when i bought it it hadn't been out that long i don't think but yeah this palette is definitely giving me the whole valentine's day vibe with the pinky purples in here it's a very simple color story but very effective okay <laughs> very effective now this palette here of course had to be in this video, the Natasha Denona Love Palette. I believe this one came out during last Valentine's Day, didn't it? This palette, um, me having this in my collection just kind of made me say no to the small one that she just came out because I'm like, first of all, I got all them shades, them purples and pinks, but it's like, I don't feel like you need both. I don't know. I just don't. I don't feel like you need both. But this definitely says Valentine's Day, even... With the color story, of course, but even the packaging, this kind of like soft, beautiful, rosy tone is so gorgeous. And then the super bold red border, it just says love, okay? It just says love. So yeah, I really, really like this palette. I did use this in a video if you're curious. If you want to know any of the palettes that I've used, just search my name and the palette name. And if I used it in a video, it'll pop up, okay? So yeah. Very obvious choice. Now I also have this Violet Voss Sakura Blossom palette. Now if this isn't a beautiful, beautiful pink palette, I mean, first of all, the packaging here. Look at that, it's beautiful with the Sakura Blossoms. So pretty, <laughs> so pretty. Then you open it up and it has them, you know, around the mirror as well. I won't blind you guys. You can see which palette is coming up next right there. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, look at this beautiful pink color story. Oh, and I don't even, I don't even wear pink like that. Okay, I don't. I don't wear pink like that. I don't be all up with the pink. But it's so pretty. It really is. And when you put it on the eyes, it's like, oh, you know, that's pretty. I should wear pink more often. But this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I didn't pull the coral one because they do have a coral themed one. Gorgeous as well. But I just pulled this one because obviously pink Valentine's. So, yes, as you guys saw, the Vivid Rose from Give Me Glow. Okay. This palette just had everybody drooling <laughs> when they saw this tease on Instagram. I mean, what's not to like? It's beautiful. First of all, I really like Give Me Glow's formula. I know for some people it can be a little bit more difficult to work with, with it being this one being pigments as well. Doesn't make it any easier, but y'all know I like a challenge. <laughs> but this palette, so, so pretty. Look, let me give you a close-up, okay? This is like the epitome of Valentine's. All it needs is just a big, bold red in here, and it just 100% Valentine's, but it's gorgeous. Now, this one here is from Certified. This is the Affinity palette. I always forget about this palette, and the color story is absolutely gorgeous, okay? Look at this, you guys. 
look at this color story. Now this gives you, you know, more of that sunset type vibe with the pinky purples. And it also has like the orangey reds and yellow in here. So some people like to add a little bit more of those type of colors, mix it in with your pinks and purples, give you a different type of vibe for the love day. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this palette is gorgeous. And I would definitely say this is a nice Valentine's Day palette. Now this palette here I picked up. It is an indie brand. Okay. It's called Pink Lips Cosmetics. This is the pink palette. Plain and simple. The pink palette. Okay. And it is just a beautiful pink palette. Now I haven't tried this palette. <laughs> I'm not. I keep saying, you know what? I need to use that palette. I need to try that palette. But it's another one that I forget about. Even though the color story is absolutely gorgeous. Just beautiful. Definitely perfect for Valentine's Day. Okay. Like I was saying with the Give Me Glow with the pinky purples. I said all they had to do was throw a red in there. And it is definitely Valentine's Day all the way. And that's what they did for this palette. They threw them a red in there, okay? Now, my girls, DJ and Lily, did try this palette out and absolutely loved it. So, I'm pretty sure I will too. But yeah, very, very pretty. Next here, I have my Lime Crime Venus XL. Okay, who remembers this? <laughs> Every time I open this palette, I'm like, oh, she's so pretty. So, so pretty. But see, with this palette, even though you have like your pops of pink and your deep deep dark bricky type red in here you have like your light corals and you have a nice array of different type of how do I want to say um transition type shades you know you can go a large range with this palette you can go very very deep and smoky or you can go very light and soft and subtle as well so absolutely gorgeous palette I think she's beautiful Next here, I have a brand new palette that I picked up from Cara Beauty. You guys know I love Cara Beauty, okay? This one is one of their smaller palettes here. It's called La Chica Enamorada. Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. Enamorada. <laughs> but yeah, look at the artistry. Cara Beauty has like some of the most beautiful artistry aside from Juvia's, okay? But this palette has a mirror in it. And as you can see, it is, like I said, one of their smaller palettes. Definitely a beautiful pinky purple theme. But you also have a good amount of like warm neutrals over here. You get that red section. So yeah, this definitely says Valentine's Day and love and all that good stuff to me. And it's a cute little affordable palette from Cara Beauty. Okay, so yeah, another option for you to get. So before I talk about a few more of my smaller palettes, let's look at some of these other palettes I have here. This one is from Glam Light Cosmetics. I forgot I had this. I think, how did I get this, honey? I don't even know. But this is called the Miracle Palette. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. I think this came like in a grab bag or a little like goodie bag or something that I bought, honey. I don't know, but this palette is really pretty. Now, I can't attest to the quality because I haven't used it yet, but look at this color story. has that same type of theme. I really, really like this section right here, but this pop is so gorgeous. You have a beautiful, like, yellow, kind of like, it kind of looks like one of those, like, mustardy type yellows, but it's a shimmer, so that's a nice little surprise, okay? So, yeah, this is a really pretty palette definitely says Valentine's Day to me. Another obvious Valentine's Day choice. This one is the Sweet Valentine from Lurella. <laughs> Their beautiful pinky purple toned palette. I wonder if they still sell this. I don't even know if they still sell this, you guys. If they do, I would assume that it should be available now, okay? Beautiful pinky purple palette. Um, and it has a nice range. It has this beautiful kind of red toned shade up here but beautiful range of pinks and purples in here. I would like this a little bit better if it had like a dark purple matte, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, okay? I could definitely work with what's in here. <laughs> so 
very very pretty now i have a few more smaller palettes before i jump into the larger ones this one new to my collection this is from <laughs> one of color pops five millionth uh <laughs> releases this is the is this from the uh this is a more is this called a more or is this the more collection hold on y'all hold on let me get my glasses okay so yeah it's got to be the a more palette <laughs> <laughs> but this is what it looks like and i think that's the perfect name for this palette it definitely says amour or love to me it's really pretty it really oh, that's really pretty <laughs> it does it just kind of has that like soft like it's like that pinky purpley mix vibe you know very very soft very pretty so yeah it definitely says amour to me i like it now this one here is another Juvia's Place palette. This one is the Melissa palette. I love how they do their collabs. They just like pop out the blue and it's like a collab with some really absolutely gorgeous, you know, content creator. And you're like, what? <laughs> They've been really, really going ham with their collabs. So this one is the Melissa palette. Look at that. Now this is a grown and sexy type valentine's palette you know it has like that grown and sexy type feel to it i definitely think that a lot of the juvia's place palettes these smaller ones are perfect companion palettes you can use them alone use them together but i think that you can pull you know from these different palettes that they're coming out with and just find your perfect mix your perfect look that you want to do but this one here definitely says grown and sexy to me very pretty next here i have a cute little quad from an indie brand this is from copacetic cosmetics i have not used this one yet this one is called lots of love and as you can see it just has like a really gorgeous kind of soft baby pink corally type vibe to it Tell me this does not say love, okay? <laughs> it does. So yeah, I think they named it perfectly here on the back. It has the name and the shades, but I feel like they definitely named this palette appropriately because it definitely says lots of love and their shimmers are bomb, okay? If you wanna see how like some of their shimmers swatch and stuff, I did do a video using my Juvia's Place and Fumi collab the last one she came out the disco palette that blue one and I mixed it with one of my copacetic palettes the Luna palette and I kind of like showed on my hand how their shimmers look the flaky ones pretty okay next I have this palette from Rude Cosmetics this is kind of multifunctional because it does have like blush and highlight I believe this is the nude Orleans palette and this is what she looks like so it has the beautiful pinky eyeshadows over here mattes and shimmers but you also have like your face you know products over here your blushes highlight and bronzer so this is a very very cute like travel type situation i wasn't really sure as far as how this would fare for me i'm definitely looking forward to trying this out because like i said after i used their reckless palette i was highly impressed this bronzer right here probably ain't gonna do nothing for me, but definitely the blush and the highlight, everything else should work for me. Oochie coochie, la la la. Oochie coochie. Oochie coochie, la la la. Oochie coochie. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the palette that had me singing. You know, listen, if you didn't grow up like in the 80s or 90s, then I'm sure you don't know what song that was. <laughs> but... Yeah, this ColourPop Ooh La La palette had me singing that Oochie Coochie La 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 Oochie Coochie. <laughs> I don't even know if that song is like an appropriate song. It's probably not. But anyway, I was a kid, you know. So this is the ColourPop Ooh La La. And you guys know ColourPop has a whole plethora of palettes that you can choose for Valentine's Day, whether it be softer, mauve type purples, softer pinks, deeper purples, reds, just all kind of Valentine's theme, color themed palettes. But I chose this one because it's the pink one, okay? So this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty basic pink palette. 
has nice variation in tones but I think it's gorgeous. So yeah, this is like a no-brainer Valentine's Day palette. Okay, this is the Bye Bye Birdie from ColourPop. Another one of those palettes that I was talking about gives you a little bit of a different feel, different vibe, but it's still a beautiful romantic themed palette. Why do we associate romance with pinks and mauves and stuff like that even purples and plums i feel are very sexy and romantic i don't know but it just is to me so yeah very very beautiful palette um shimmers in here are gorgeous there's a lot of i won't say unnecessaryness going on because you know, there are women of all shades and colors, and so some need light, some need dark. So I think this is a nice, well-rounded palette. Okay, jumping to the affordable side, I have this Profusion Love Struck palette. Okay, when I saw this palette, did I get this last year or the year before? Might have been last year. I don't know, honey. I buy Profusion I haven't bought any in a while, but I was buying Profusion like crazy, okay? But this is their Love Struck palette definitely says valentine's to me look at this so pretty so so pretty i would be so glad when the glitter theme takes a chill pill like when these brands just say you know what okay we done with glitter let's just chill for a minute because <laughs> like it's hard for me to buy a new palette now that doesn't have glitter in it and i'm tired of talking about it quite frankly so I just try to ignore it, you know, and go about my life. But it's hard when every palette you open has glitter in it. So, you know, but this is very, very pretty. Another obvious choice, the ABH Norvina. This one is volume 12. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's volume four. <laughs> it's a beautiful pinky purple one. Okay, let's see if I can do this without popping a nail. So yes, this is what she looks like, okay? Way more heavy on the pink than the purple, okay? But you got a few pops in here. What I do wish that they had done differently with this palette was add a few deeper, darker shades in here of purple, plum, you know, just something that looks almost black. <laughs> I would have loved that. But it is a very, very pretty soft pinky vibe palette, okay? Next is Jacqueline Hill. It's like, why why do you feel some type of way every time you say the name Jacqueline Hill? I don't know. But anyway, this is the Morphe and Jacqueline Hill Volume 2. <sighs> this palette, honey, it is so pretty. So, so pretty. You cannot take that away. And this palette performed so nicely, okay? It was so refreshing <laughs> from a Jacqueline Hill product. But yeah, it's so pretty. You got your pinks, your purples, your reds, your yellow, gold, your pops of orange in there. And your nice little deepening black. It's just a beautiful, well-rounded, sunset vibe type of palette. So yeah, I like this palette. It definitely says romance to me. Oh, we're coming on the home stretch, you guys. <laughs> I know you like, well, sheesh, KK, how many romantic palettes do you need? All of them, okay? All of them. <laughs> so this one is Sample Beauty Equalizer Palette Volume 2. This is actually pretty new to my collection. I really, really like the packaging. It kind of has that foiled look to it. But this one is kind of like a different, different type of romantic vibe. When I see people do looks with this palette and I look at the color story of this palette, it says romance to me. It just does. Of course, this middle row here, but when you move on over this way, you get some of these orangey coral and pinks, and then you get some lighter variations in shimmers over here. Just really, really pretty. I mean, like over here where you get like your lime green type shades, those are just gorgeous as well. If you want to add like a, a different type of a punch or pop on your lid, to go along with this beautiful purpley tone. Very pretty. Green and purple goes beautifully together. 
Okay, it might not seem like it, but it does. I don't know about for Valentine's Day, but it does. <laughs> now listen, you guys know I had to bust out the Pat McGrath, okay? Because I think her whole theme is rose. <laughs> Everything rose, okay? So I had to bust it out. And this one is actually my more preferred palette with this Divine Rose collection. This one is the two that I have. So I pulled this one out because this one, you know, goes a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. So this is one that I would gravitate to more so than the first one, even though I do have the first one. They're both very beautiful, very romantic and kind of, you know, gives you that nice feel of Valentine's Day. Now this you're going out on a date with your boo and you just want to feel grown and sexy while you're doing your makeup. Yeah, this is one of those type of palettes, okay? All you got to do is just think about how much you paid for it and, and you'll feel grown and sexy, okay? <laughs> so, very, very pretty. Now, I also pulled this other Pat McGrath palette. This one is the Mothership Mega, the Celestial Divinity. <laughs> the one that caused quite the stir. So yeah, I pulled this one as well because when I look at this palette, it's just, it's so pinky purple to me. And the reds over here, you know, it's just, how can you not pull this as a Valentine's or romantic type of palette? To me, it definitely says romance. Um, this row over here, especially, I really, really like these reds mixed in with that purple and fuchsia just really really gorgeous romantic type of palette and as you can see it has the greens in here along with the purples and the gold you know she always says to have her golds but yeah just looking at this it just goes to show again how purples and greens go really well together but this row right here you do a look just using this row bomb okay so so pretty and last but not least okay i have my giant p louise love tapes palette <laughs> this is a palette that my girl lily sent to me she's so sweet okay but yeah i don't know if i'll be able to get this in the whole <laughs> frame but let me open this up okay so <laughs> this is my love tapes palette from P. Louise. I know I've shown this before in my collection video, but also in another video, just showing like some Valentine's Day type palettes. And this, of course, is the absolute epitome of Valentine's love, romance, pinky, red, <laughs> just the whole vibe, okay? The pinks, the purples, the reds, everything is in here for your pleasure okay and there's also these two beautiful highlighters in here so yeah this is definitely an amazing gift to get somebody a friend or loved one <laughs> absolutely amazing but beautiful beautiful valentine's themed palette Okay, you guys, so that is it for my valentine's or romantic themed palettes pinky purple red color stories corals couple corals thrown in that's it <laughs> i know if you watched my palette collection videos you're probably like oh but you didn't show this one oh but you didn't show that one honey i wasn't pulling all of them that's too many okay i pulled enough as it is but just wanted to kind of pull those out show them to you guys maybe just kind of bring to your remembrance some palettes that you probably have or you might have and you're like oh yeah i can pull that out and do a valentine's day look you know or maybe you have like singles or other palettes with the same color stories honey it's all the same you don't have to have these palettes just pull out your own palettes and pull out those colors and create you a beautiful valentine's day look for yourself okay <laughs> so yeah that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me and i will see you on my next one Toodles. talk to me now